the 12C, is a car that is truly exotic and special uh, in its construction, in its heritage, uh, in its technology. It's also a car that we believe is going to have absolutely the best performance in its segment. And it's also a car that is, in some ways, a little bit more accessible than other supercars which are out on the market, meaning that its styling is elegant and discreet. It's not too overstated, although it's clearly a mid-engine sports car and it's evocative. And it's easy to use. It's got a big boot. It's got space inside. It's comfortable. It's safe. You can drive it every day. And so it might appeal to some people who hadn't previously thought that um, mid-engine sports car was the type of car for them. And they might look at it and say, you know what, I could actually see myself driving this car even on a daily basis. So I think it's going to have a broad appeal. If we were to design a car that was just as fast as a Ferrari and just as aggressive as a Lamborghini and just as evocative as an Aston Martin, frankly, there wouldn't have been any reason for McLaren to exist. For a manufacturer to come in and say, we're going to make a car that's just as good as, is not good enough. We had to do something that was substantially better. We're McLaren, so this is a car that's more compact on the outside, but roomier on the inside. It has got the highest power in its segment, but also will have the best fuel economy and CO2 in its segment. It's extremely lightweight and stiff, but it's also fully equipped and will be one of the safest cars there is. It's got fantastic road holding and grip, as you'd expect from a super sports car, but it is also has got extraordinary ride comfort. You get it all, this and that, this and that, not this or that. Every single component in the car, whether it's the engine, the chassis, the suspension, the gearbox, the switches, the instrumentation, the telematics, is purpose designed uh, for, the, for the 12C. Nothing comes off of any car because that was the only way that we could guarantee that we'd be able to achieve performance that was head and shoulders beyond what the competitors achieve. There's very little that is relevant that is a pure technology that comes off of the Formula One car that's directly applicable to a road car. What is important, however, is the processes and the technologies by which we develop the Formula One cars, the simulation techniques, which you really can directly apply to a road car to both increase the speed of development, but more importantly, to give ever better handling and ever better performance uh, from the car. We have a tradition of designing cars that endure, that last in 10, 15, 20, 25 years from now. It still looks contemporary, it still looks well proportioned, and it still looks as if it was designed for a purpose. And the purpose in this case is to have fantastic driving enjoyment and uh, have a car that's aerodynamically efficient and is easy and practical to drive.